Hey everyone, this is Ricky Bell with the Victolic VDC. I'm a programmer on Victolic Tools for Revit. Uh, today I wanted to talk about a new tool we're coming out with called the Component Bank. Uh, and I'm also joined today by Fred Weisenberger. He's one of our more tech-savvy draftsmen on our oil and gas team in the VDC. But first, what is the Component Bank? Well, let me tell you. So the Component Bank is a way that you can save a selection of components in one project and recall that selection of components connected in its entirety in another project. And I know you're thinking, why can't you just copy and paste from project to project? And you can, but if you've ever tried to do that with Revit, you'll notice that it creates duplicate families, duplicate pipe types. It really messes things up when you try and copy a large selection of components from one project to another. So this is our way around that. So if you look here, one of our draftsmen in the VDC has gone and spent the time to develop this chiller setup. There's a lot of taps in this chiller, there's reducers, there's just a, a whole lot of precision work that was done on this. Now, if he wanted to duplicate this within his same project, copy and paste would be the way to go. But now, now that he's done this, maybe he asks himself, how many times in the future am I going to be doing this chiller setup? Maybe I do this two or three times a week. And now that I've done it once and it took me the good 40 minutes to set this thing up properly with all the section views, all the tabs, all the different families, uh, maybe I want to save myself, my future self, some time. So what the draftsman could do is highlight the components that you want to add to your bank. Okay, I'm going to leave the uh, mechanical equipment out of this, although it will take mechanical equipment. I'm just going to grab the drops and save selection. I'll call this one uh, Chiller Drops. Now this component bank is going to be available for me to use in any project. So if I head over to a brand new project, okay, in this project I've already placed the mechanical equipment, the chiller is there. So now we can just recall the bank hit chiller drop and hit recall. I'm going to place it off to the right and all these components are now recalled from Victolic Tools for Revit not from the other project and I can use the Revit move command to put them in place. I'll highlight them here hit MV on my keyboard. We can use these connection points to really get it lined up perfectly. Now let's take a look in the 3D view. There, everything lines up pretty well and now using uh, Victolic Tools for Revit, any connect, we can connect these guys together, saving an unbelievable amount of time trying to get uh, components and configurations from project to project. And you can use it on something as large as this or something very small. If you just had a simple drop that you do all the time, it's got some taps on it, it's got some detail to it, and you find yourself doing it over and over again, go ahead, save it as a bank. Go on to your new project, recall it there. Now in addition to saving component banks and recalling component banks on your own computer, uh, you can also share them with friends. There's an import and an export utility. So if I take our chiller drop that we made before and I want to share it with somebody else, I can export this bank it asks me where I want to save it. I'll put it on my desktop for now, but maybe your company, your organization wants to, um, wants to create a folder, a network folder that holds on to your most common component banks. It may be a very efficient way to uh, really expedite some of this drafting work is to pull most of your items from the component bank. Uh, so just like exporting, you can import them as well. I have some other ones saved on my desktop. I have this uh, individual chiller drop or I have these other drops. Now I'm gonna let Fred show you how he's been able to implement the component bank into his workflow to really save him some time. Hello everybody, this is Fred. So today I'm going to show you how I can use the component bank in my workflow. Here you can see a 3D component that we would use in our projects. This is actually taken from one of our projects. And here you can see there are components coming off of this tank setup and each of these components took time to model in and add to this tank. Now that this 3D component is complete I can take it from the project it was currently in and add it to any other project using the component bank. Here you can see we have the component and if we wish to save it you will select it and come to the Victolic toolbar 
save selection and name it. Once saved, you can then recall this component into any project you wish. Now we are in a blank project. We will now take the component that we saved and add it to this project. Hit the recall button, add it to where you would like it to be in the project, and there it is. Now you can select your component and move it to where you would like it to be. Once in position, you can then copy it, and it will act like any other component that you add to your project. From here, you can simply connect it together, and just like that, you can be on your way. Whereas before, it might have taken me 10 to 15 minutes to model that component and then add it to the project. Using the component bank, we can simply add it instantaneously. So thanks, Fred. That looks like it saves a whole lot of time, and uh, hopefully it saves our customers a lot of time as well. Thanks for watching.